Yeah, what's poppin' you guys? Sizzle here, back again with that comp deathmatch grind. Last episode was May. This episode's Pharah. I mean, this is this is my bread and butter. This is the character I one tricked to the top 500 deathmatch leaderboards. If I go check him out real quick. Uh, not season two of Overwatch one, but if it is season one of Overwatch two, it's the Sivai now in ninth and tenth. He did some grinding, I guess. Uh, and then one root beard among. Yeah, three people got to Masters 4, which is genuinely impressive. I didn't think he could go past Masters 5. They're the only three people on the entire planet, uh, to my knowledge, that are up there. And not just up there because they got placed there, but because they actually got there. But if I scroll for a bit, I'm somewhere around here. There's not too many pages of people. Spex is down to 100, though. He was at like 70 last time I checked. He must have played one game and got second or something. But, uh... Where am I? I'm like, damn, one above quick get quick done, that's why I stopped. I thought that was a funny place to end, you know? And if I don't say too much, uh, too far ahead of time, you won't play one game to get above me or something. <laughs> but yeah, I did, I did literally only fair. I mean, I, it says I played uh, fair life weaver, but that was like a funny haha -ha joke. Because I could uh, just, just play one literally less than a minute of life weaver to have him on the leaderboard. If I go to comp deathmatch. Uh, not season 4 of Overwatch 1, not season 1 of Overwatch 1, but if I go to season 1 of Overwatch 2, yeah, Tenera's Affair, 1 minute of life leaving. 99% win is just not correct. Like, if I look at the stats, I have 6 losses, I don't think that's 1%, that's closer to 5. Uh, so they definitely fuck something with the stats, but whatever. I think it counts only 8th places as losses, that's probably how it works, but yeah. Either way, I'm gonna go cut to when I get a game. Alright, finally found ourselves in a game, uh, and, and on Malaventa, so this should be beyond free, unless there's seven Echoes, which has happened. I've had seven Echoes in one of my lobbies, and I still, I think, ended up third or fourth somehow, but unless I get seven Echoes, should be a pretty free game, should be a pretty easy time. Uh, Farah, I, I find Farah Deathmatch to be very simple, uh, and that's probably because I played her so much in Deathmatch. I'd say realistically she's not the best character, but she's very solid for consistent placement. And that's kind of what you want in a deathmatch character generally. But yeah, pretty straightforward. You literally just suicide bomb. Like straight up, you, you, you get carpet bomb people. Uh, every time you respawn, you go, you know, fly around like that. Get another kill. If I didn't suck, I'd have Tracer as well, but whatever. You play up by the roofs if you ever just want to have a low death or something. But basically, you can you can hunt people. They can't escape you if you really want them to die. Like you're you're you you just basically are constantly respawning. You press E on the ground. You know, shoot yourself forward. And find your next target. Fire a few rockets at them. If it's a tank like this, maybe hope someone else does damage in between. Because you need a lot of rockets to connect to finish a tank, and generally someone will kill you by the time that tank doesn't. But yeah, flying over this roof in particular, great spot for both Junkrat and Farah. Where the fuck? Damn! Oh, I thought Widow got the kill. I was gonna say, damn, I can't believe he hit that. But yeah, it should be pretty easy to place at bare minimum top four. I, if I have a boss on Farah, I'm just actually gonna be kind of sad. Instead of a hundred and- wow. Wow. At 117 games that I was trying to get to saying, uh, I lost six on, on my min. And it was- by loss, I mean I got bit in six games, and it was one of those- I don't think he was even the one with seven echoes. It was on this map, there were seven echoes and me on Farah, because I, I, you know, I stick to the character I picked. That's what you should do in Deathmatch. Find something that works for you and stick to it. It is much simpler and easier than swapping around all the time to counterpick people and will result in you playing better. Because thinking, you know, taking time to think, oh, who should I go here? Uh, how should I play this? That will be time you're wasting that you could have maybe gotten another kill or two. And with the sheer amount of games you have to play, you got top 500 in this mode. Assume that's what you're striving for. It's just not worth it. It's also way less fun. I feel like Deathmatch is just such a non serious mode that you can really play whatever and get away with it. I feel like even Mercy and Life Weaver can win games if you if you really want to force it. Uh, obviously, it can be way harder than someone like Fair or Echo, and that's why I make all these tier lists and shit so that you know, all the people that want to take it easy get their free wins. They know what's up. 
Uh, and I'm doing this Iron Man thing because it is fun. I, I have a fun time, you know? I, I like seeing all the different ways these characters interact with Deathmatch. You know, what I can get away with, how easy I find it to be. You know, all of that. I'm assuming that Genji's low, but I guess he's not. He took a bunch of right clicks from Echo. But you can see someone finally went Echo because the one fair in the lobby pissed him off. And that's a very common thing. If you ever play a lot of fair in deathmatch, people just get pissed. And uh, they don't they don't think to do the usual counters like Kree. They almost always hop straight to Echo. Or they'd go, you know, their own thing of Farah. And those are normally free. But yeah, you see second place wasn't really uh, focused on the game at all. It was like second nature to me. You just, just kind of fly around. Carpet bomb. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Uh, goodbye.